the Big Iftar campaign in the UK is an amazing initiative uh, launched by the Muslim community, supported by the British government. And it's a way of demonstrating that at a time when there are people on the outskirts of our society who shout very loud, um, who are in a tiny minority, to say that actually uh, uh, the community shouldn't live in unity, shouldn't live in harmony, and that we should build walls between communities. The Big Iftar and events like that are a great opportunity to demonstrate the vast majority of people respect each other, they want to understand each other, they want to have a dialogue with each other. And that's why I think this Iftar here today, which I, in a sense is part of the Big Iftar, uh, is a great opportunity to demonstrate not only uh, respect and harmony and coexistence between communities at the local level but also at the international level. There are lots of challenges out, out at sea and all the time uh, out at sea and, and just at the moment uh, you know as a good example the challenge of weather uh, is, is always there so the southwest monsoon uh, really starting to, to, uh, to settle into the Indian Ocean is making the seas out at sea uh, pretty rough and at the same time there's a whole pile of uh, small fishermen, small traders, small coastal, coastal vessels that are going about their lawful business. And we're out there making sure that from uh, a safety of life at sea point of view that we're ready to assist should that be required. But of course there's also uh, elements out there that, that, that are uh, wanting to challenge that lawful uh, business, that lawful uh, situation that we have out on the, on the high seas. And whether that's uh, piracy or narcotic smuggling where um, uh, money is being raised to, to feed uh, terrorism or other nefarious activity.